Welcome to the Sage 50 U.S. Edition Anytime Learning Topic. This topic provides an overview of the procedures and steps used to prepare a computer for a successful installation of Sage 50 accounting. Under most circumstances, installing Sage 50 on a computer is a quick and error-free process. Sometimes, however, the condition of a computer's environment may create unexpected and unintended problems during and after installation. So right before you install the program, whether it is on a standalone system or on a workstation or server on a network, it is recommended that you follow the steps outlined in this learning topic to help ensure a smooth installation. After completing this Anytime Learning topic, you will be able to verify system requirements, determine security privileges in Windows, temporarily disable antivirus scans during installation, and keep firewalls from blocking Sage 50 files. Before preparing to install Sage 50, it's important to ensure that your computer meets or exceeds the system requirements defined for your version and edition of the program. If your system does not meet at least the minimum requirements, you may have problems installing and running the program on your computer. A list of system requirements for your version of the program can be accessed on Sage 50's website by visiting the knowledge base and searching for system requirements and the version number. Compare this list to your system to verify that it meets requirements. Windows provides a system information utility that can be used to determine many of your computer's current system specifications. You can use this tool to compare your system with Sage 50's system requirements. In any supported version of Windows, Access the System Information Utility by pressing the Windows key on your keyboard and while holding the Windows key down, pressing the R key. This will open the Run window. Enter MSINFO32 and then click OK. The System Information window will display. On the Summary page, you can determine many of the system specifications listed with the system requirements, including the speed of your computer's processor, and the amount of physical RAM installed. Other system specs can be found in system information. For example, we can find information on a hard drive's available space. Let's click Components, Expand Storage, and then click on Drives. Make sure that the drive that you plan to install the program on is a local fixed disk and has at least the minimum free space listed with the minimum requirements. Other specifications you'll want to check include the third-party applications used by Sage for many of its features. These programs include Microsoft Office, Internet Explorer, and Adobe Reader. You can determine the versions that you are running by accessing the About window for these programs. When you are ready to install the program, the first step you should take is to reboot your computer. Rebooting a computer before installing a software program helps you avoid installation problems due to possible conflicts with other running programs. Rebooting may also speed up the installation. After rebooting, the next step is to log into Windows with local administrator rights. This user type is often named Computer Administrator or simply Administrator. The Windows user profile that you are logged into must have unrestricted system access when installing Sage 50. This is due to the nature of the installation process and how it needs to access and possibly modify areas of the system that are not accessible to users with restricted Windows rights. Here's an easy way to determine whether you have full rights to the system. Hold down the Windows key on your keyboard and then press the R key. The Run window will display. In the open field, enter control space user passwords and the number 2 no space and then click OK. If you currently have full local administrative rights, a user accounts window will display. You will most likely see your Windows profile ID in the list added to the administrator group. If you do not have local admin rights, a password prompt will display requesting for admin credentials. In this case, you will need to log out of Windows and log back in using a user profile with full rights. Once you have unrestricted access to the user accounts window, you can continue with the installation. 
If you are running an antivirus program, you should disable its auto-protect feature before walking through the installation. Doing so will ensure that it does not accidentally quarantine network-enabled files installed with Sage50 Accounting. Overall installation time will decrease as well. Most antivirus programs provide an icon in the task tray when it is running. You can right-click on this icon and select Disable, Disable Auto Protect, or something similar. For example, this system is currently running an antivirus program. We can right-click on the taskbar icon and select Disable to disable the program's Auto Protect feature. Once Sage50 has finished installing, we can then right-click on the icon and re-enable the antivirus software. Finally, let's take a look at firewalls. Software firewalls running on the system should be made aware of the files that Sage50 installs and allow them to run unrestricted. Otherwise, Sage50 will not run properly. Although the installation process can automatically configure Windows built-in firewall, third-party firewalls must be manually configured to display an alert when a Sage50 program file runs for the first time. If your firewall blocks these files, they will be added to your firewall's blocked programs list and Sage50 will not work as designed. This setting is usually located in the notification section of your firewall program's control panel. Enabling your firewall's alert setting prior to installation will help you make certain that all relevant Sage50 files are added to the firewall program's allow list during the installation. As the program installs, Always select Allow on alerts that reference any of the files being installed during the installation process. To learn more about how to manage your firewall settings with Sage50, visit Sage50's knowledge base and enter How do I modify my firewall or internet security? This knowledge base article provides extensive firewall information that will help guide you through setting up your firewall program so that you can successfully install and use Sage50 accounting. If you're unsure what firewalls may be running on your system, a link is provided to download a scanning utility that will scan your system and tell you what firewalls are running. And that's it. Following these pre-installation steps will help ensure a quick and trouble-free installation of Sage50 Accounting. You have successfully completed this Anytime Learning topic. You have learned how to verify system requirements, determine security privileges in Windows, temporarily disable antivirus scans during installation, and keep firewalls from blocking Sage50 files. Thank you for taking this Anytime Learning topic. For information on additional training options available, please visit us at sageu.com.